Well, what's going to be negative? Second, Second derivative is going to be negative. But if we're just looking at a graph, guys, and, and another thing I want to let you guys know is um, you guys can say that at f equals negative 5, that's an inflection point. But let's just kind of look at when is concavity changing. So here it's concave down. Here it's concave up, concave down, concave up, right? And at these points, I'll kind of make them blue, we can call those the inflection points, OK? Those are the points of inflection, where it's concavity is changing. Um, so again, we're looking for when it's concave down. So we only have a couple intervals, right? We only have intervals from negative 7 to 5 and from negative 1 to 3, right? But we're looking for when it's concave down. Um, and it's and the and the intervals is uh, decreasing, so that means the slope is negative, right? So if we look at that, we can see that well here, negative seven to five, that's decreasing, right? So we could say from negative seven to five, and then we could also say well here from negative one to two, it's concave down, but the slopes are increased, positive, right? So we want to look where it's negative, which would be again from uh, 2 to 3. And again, we want to go to 3 because that's the inflection point. That's where it's changing. So we'd say the other interval, we could just say union 2 to 3. 